Hey everybody, Ruin the Gaming Tab from the Arc Trade Federation, and today we're just going over how to make some custom paintings for your base, whether you want to label vaults or put up your Arc logo, however you want to do it. So there's just a couple free programs that you need. One's the GIMP Photo Editor. It's a great free program to help edit photos. Um, and then it's the Arc PNT Editor, and that's another free program, and those links will be in the description. So once you've downloaded those and getting them up and running, let's get started. So we have our um photo editing program here we're just going to open up our logo from the arc trade federation and the thing with the arc pnc editor is it needs most of those files need to be a much smaller pixel range so this one's much higher in fact you can see it's 1256 by 1256 so we need to go to image and scale image and we're going to lower that to 256 by 256 just to make that a smaller image. There we go, and we're gonna hit scale. And then we'll save that file. But we're gonna export it as the PNG file. So you can see there, we've just exported it. Because if we save it, it will be in the wrong format. So we're just gonna name that ARC or ATF logo, paint. And we're gonna export it. And we'll put it on the desktop. There we go. And now we're going to go into the Arc PNT editor and we're going to change it to a painting canvas. So you can use a metal billboard. You can do all kinds of things. We're just going to use a simple painting canvas. You can see the aspect is two to one. Obviously the painting canvas doesn't look like that. So we're going to an aspect of one to one and we're going to load an image and we're going to go straight to the desktop and we're going to do our logo. And it says that reducing the colors of the image. Yes, you're going to do that just so it doesn't cost as much to paint. And you can see there's the logo. It's a little off because it does reduce the colors, but there you go. Now we're going to save as an Arc PNC file. And this is where it can get a little complex because you've got to put it in a very specific folder. So we're going to go into our games. We're going to our Steam library. And then we're going to go to Steam apps. Common. Arc, of course. Shooter game saved and then my paintings so it does take a little while to get to that folder but you can see it at the top since we've kind of scrolled through all of those folders to get to what we need steam apps common arc shooter game saved my paintings so and the file name you've got to keep that final underscore there or that first underscore and you can name it whatever you want so we're just going to name it you know atf logo or atf paint and then we keep that underscore there and then all that other verbiage stays the same and it's saved. Now we're gonna go into ARC and we're just gonna go and make ourselves a, a painting canvas here. So let's just walk right in. Let's, we've got some in the inventory. We'll just put it on the side of the vaults here, just so you can kind of see. So we've got a paintbrush and we've got a lot of dye. So if you just go to the wiki, it'll tell you how to make each dye, but you're gonna need pretty much each one. So we're gonna go to our paintbrush and we're just gonna hit that painting canvas. And then we're going to go up to the top where in the left there it's going to say load save painting there's atf paint and you can see all the coloring that it needs so you're going to need a lot of coloring and you're just going to hit that again and it's going to be loading painting the thing is it's going to take the more complex your image the longer it's going to take for that to finish we played on a legacy a server before and it tended to crash the game but some of the regular official servers it doesn't crash the game but it does take quite some time you can actually see just in the background that the actual image is on the painting canvas but it takes a lot of time to cycle through all of those colorings the more simple the image the faster that it'll paint so just be patient if you've got a complex image if you even have a picture of yourself or tribe or anything like that it's just going to take some time so it just as it cycles through and cycles through and once it's done, it's going to pop up to a screen that has the actual image that you wanted to paint on the canvas will pop up. Let's see if there it is right there. So looks very similar to what we saw. Now we've got our logo on it. Pretty easy stuff. Now there's a great website you can go to. It's you know, arcpaint.com. They have a lot of different things you can download. We just downloaded a metal sickle because we have sickles in a vault so we can actually just use that picture and put it on 
So we're going to go down to metal sickle here. Here we go. And it doesn't take as many resources because it's more of a simple thing. And then there's your sickle. And then we're just going to go up onto the top left there, right where it says select a painting. And we're just going to hit load painting. And it's going to do what it needs to do. It's going to go through all that coloring. Boom, there's your sickle. And that's how you do it. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Just wanted to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video.